Good morning, folks. Today we've got some eye candy, some corrective science, a nova expected by nobody but an observer, and we see how you all did on yesterday afternoon's quiz. But first, several solar events occurred yesterday, including a small CME from the top left quadrant. It was small and not scary, but may deliver slightly enhanced solar wind a day or two after the coronal hole. Solar flaring is slowly rising at the new active regions, including a simultaneous flaring event from two active regions we'll watch repeat here. Still only minor events, these sunspots will be monitored in case they become significantly active. Feast your eyes on the Manatee Nebula. Gorgeous shots in X-ray and radio. Now feast your ears on that which is in need of correcting. They say the central bright object is a black hole left over from the supernova, but the problem is it's visible in visible wavelengths as a star wasn't a supernova, but one that will boom again and has in the past. You can still see the helicity to the eruption. In that vein, that all nova can repeat, and the false notion that all recurring nova are white dwarfs, welcome to the yellow supergiant and the luminous red nova. Now that's my version of a Mother Goose Tale story title. And a yellow supergiant is as far from a white dwarf as you get. Now, many of you saw the quiz yesterday posted to the channel comment feed, and we got a wide range of answers, but many of you did get the right one. We are within the high part of the 11-year sunspot activity cycle, but the sun doesn't just go berserk every day of sunspot maximum. The last real uptick was in February and March, and so when's the next time we should expect significant solar flares? We did begin discussing this on our weekly Fly on the Wall podcast at suspiciousobservers.org right after the last uptick, and we have mentioned it here on YouTube as well. When's the next solar uptick? Well, the 5.9-month activity cycle is the driver. It's an exceptionally reliable cycle within the 11-year sunspot cycle, and it is due to peak again mid-August. With several weeks of lead-in and fade-out, we are looking at the beginning as early as later this month, late July, with it lasting likely until late September or early October. Of course, we are getting these minor solar events starting to build already, and we will keep monitoring those by the day. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.